Congratulations, you found the Twin Cities hit show. Very well. Where do I begin? Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? You're lucky to be here. Thank you, sir. Reach for this one. <laughs> and now, a real hit show. Would you gentlemen like something to eat? Yes, I'll have a uh, turkey sandwich and a cup of coffee. Very good. <laughs> you know something? <laughs> no soup for you! Live from the Twin Cities. Looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. Sorry about that. Did you have it? Hamburgers. Hamburgers! The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. It's the Twin Cities hit show. Mm hmm. This is a tasty burger. Let's get this hit show started. Well, hello, Minnesota. We are. Getting together. And you know what, Chuck? So far, this get-together, it's been great. Yeah, it's been a, probably one of the most relaxing mornings. It's been the gra- It's been a great get-together. Yeah. You know what? I would go far in the state of Minnesota. This is probably Minnesota's great get-together. Yeah, it's like, the, it's is the state here? fair. Yeah. Is, oh, is that why everyone's here? I think so. Oh, God. Okay. I thought there was like a, a first sale. It is. Well, bittersweet. Summer's over. Yeah. I mean, that's it. Whatever. It's August. I don't care. But it's the state fair, everybody. Come on, come on, the State Fair. We're here in our unmarked booth in front of Cafe Caribe, and we are, we're broadcasting live. I gotta live. watch myself. Yeah, you do have to watch I just it. took a sip of this root beer going, yeah, I'm thirsty. Yeah. Uh, we're State in front of yeah, Caf- Cafe Caribe, which uh, is a great location, just across from the bridge, you know, you got the bridge between the grandstand and, uh, oh wow, this root beer just... It's just unbelievable. Um, yeah. And it's been here forever. It's always great because they got the reggae music going. So it's like a mini vacation within the fair. You get to escape and get feel like you've gone down to the islands. Uh, Andrew is here with me. And I need to, no, no. Uh, Adam, God, I called you Andrew. And you said, do not call me Andrew on the It even air. says it right on the microphone. Upside down, it says Adam. From uh, now on, Adam. You have an adorable family. And I, don't, I mean that as a heterosexual. Your, your family Adam. is adorable. Your your dad, your ma, or your sister, you. I mean, you have you have quite a quite a business going here. Yeah, yeah. We've like, been out here for about eighteen years, so it's. Uh, it's talk right into that mic. You like you're going to eat it. Okay, I, I said it's uh, it's been a process. We've been out here for about eighteen years. And, and your the family name? Uh, the family name is Chesen. And how many uh, of you work out here then? Uh, there's there's four of us. There's four Chesens. Yep. There's two parents and two children. Oh, your mom's out here too. I haven't met her yet. Yeah. Yeah, Mary. Great lady to bring her home. Have you always owned this place? Yep, 18 straight years. My dad started out here in 1969 selling psychedelic toys and candles <laughs> and uh, kind of worked his way up. Uh, was he upset the Grateful Dead broke up? Um, he wasn't into the Grateful Dead so much, but oh. uh, he was he was into that scene. He used to book music back in the day. Really? Yeah. Like who? Uh, Jefferson Airplane, um, Hot Tuna. Okay, never heard Leo him. Never heard him. Never heard him. Yeah. yeah. Leo a bunch Kotke's of classic awesome. rock. And so, yeah, I just sucked down this root beer for I did a quick gulp going, I'm thirsty. Chuck, there's booze in there. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of booze in there. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm picking up on that a little bit. It's You know, this is not like my father's root beer. <laughs> exactly uh, right. Adam, what are we drinking here? What is this? Well, it's a hard root beer float. Um, there's a product out there called called Not Your Father's Root Beer. Um, it's 5.9% alcohol. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Tastes just like root beer, like any a and yeah. or Bargs. And then we put yeah. a, a scoop of Blue Bunny ice cream in there. And uh, make it a root beer float, and it's delicious. Yeah, when you said yeah, it tastes just like any other root beer, that's when I took a big old swig, and I was like, wait a second. Adam told me this thing is, like, <laughs> filled with booze. Yeah. <laughs> so we Can't even tell them. And, and they're popular? You sell a lot? Um, this is the first year we've had it, so ah. actually we've only been able to serve for a half hour. I don't know if we've even <laughs> sold one, so you, you might be our test subject. All right. I'm Go already ahead. hammered, so I'm very happy <laughs> with I'll the first dr- sip. I'll drink to that. Uh, yeah. What is your most popular item? Um, last year we brought a new food on, and uh, it's a, it's a lobster roll, and uh, that's what I had. That was tasty. Yeah, yeah, it's delicious. And we we sold tons of them last year. It was a big hit, so we, we brought it back this year. Now, who comes up with the uh, food items? Uh, just kind of a roundtable meeting with the family. We sit down and talk about you know what's popular, what what we think would sell, what uh, you know different different fads and trends that are going on, and uh, just talk it out. Is it on the calendar? Do you have a state fair family meeting? Eh, informally. 
Ah, you know, I'm going you, next year. I've already invited myself to Thanksgiving in Vegas yeah. with the family. Yes, he has. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm no longer invited because I, I called him Andrew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Andrew, great turkey. <laughs> I'll be going to Andrew. This turkey meeting. is perfect, Andrew. you got to learn my name before you can uh, come to Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Fine, Eric. Whatever. <laughs> so is that, now I'm here. Is the band, what time did the band start? The uh, band started at 1030 and play all day long. Okay, right, so that's a, that's a sound check that's going on. All right. Yep. Uh, and so, what what's the process like? I mean, today is the opening day. Mm-hmm. What's what? How do you gear up? How do you ramp up? What's your June, July, and August like? It's quite the process. You you pretty much nailed it. It's it's about that long. Um, we probably start coming out here on a regular basis in June. Um, you know, what do you starting, do? Starting in February, we start thinking about it and planning and getting in touch with our bands and and. Uh, is it fun? It must like be that. fun. You've been doing it 18 years. The setup isn't necessarily fun because there's yeah. nothing to show for it. There's no yeah. there's no people out here. Um, right. <laughs> but it's, you know, obviously it's well worth it. And then uh, the culmination when it, when the fair starts, that's that's when it becomes fun. But so, yeah, like I said, it, it's basically it's basically an abandoned garage for, you know, 10 <laughs> months out of the year and yeah. we have to we have to make sure that it's spotless and a fully functional restaurant. Well, you, you uh, no, no one looks stressed out. I mean, I've met the whole family today. In fact, here's your dad walking up, but uh, Met the whole family today. No, everyone very relaxed. Yeah, we put on a good facade. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> like oh, a typical dysfunctional family, just like everyone so, else. Good. Exactly. So when you come out in June, what is it? New paint or check the water lines or what? There, there's always some new project that we do. Um, you know, this year we put in a, a phone charging station. Uh, We're offering smart. Free, free phone charging and free Wi-Fi. Do you to hear our that, customers. folks? Yeah. It's on the sign right there. Free well, good phone charging. Yep. Hey, so when you- you're not using that later after a fair, can I borrow that just till next year? That free phone charging why you just trying to I pick wanna, up chicks you're gonna well, put I want to meet some new friends in my neighborhood and i think it's a great way to draw <laughs> in business go. in lake yeah, yeah at, a, at a small fee <laughs> yeah there you go seems it's, reasonable yeah. so then when you get to july what goes on um that's when the that's when the cleanup really really starts uh-huh. so we're constantly mopping floors and wiping down all the counters and cleaning the kitchen equipment and running the beer lines and making yeah, yeah. sure that's all clean and it's you know like like i said it's uh it's a very dirty abandoned garage and we need to make it spotless. how does it get so dirty don't you clean it at the end of the year? We do, absolutely. But then just when it you know, when it sits there, the dust and yeah. All right. you know, debris blowing under the, the gotcha. not so sealed garage doors. So any issues leading up to today? Were you guys working until one AM last night? Not quite that late, but we were here we were here till probably eight, nine o'clock last night. Try to get out a little early to get some sleep. But uh What is there a, a community of uh, fellow families that run businesses here? Do you guys yeah. get together? Yeah, there is. There is. We're, uh, we're we're friends with with a lot of the vendors out here. Who uh, are the dicks? Who don't you like? <laughs> besides us. <laughs> Which hot dog stand yeah. are you just pissed at? Honestly, I can't say that there is anybody. It's oh, a, it's good. a pretty nice community out here. See, Minnesota all, nice. You know, we're all here for the same reason. We yeah. all get along pretty well. Lots of folks streaming by here. Again, we're in front of Cafe Carib. The sun is trying to poke through the clouds. I have it on good authority. Patrick Hammer still contacts me. He said it will not rain on us today. So we're good in that regard. Do we you, hope so. Now, uh, are you able to say, do you have, besides, of course, your lobster roll and your, what are some of the other popular food items here? Um, we, we have uh, cra- uh, crab cakes, order of two crab cakes, and they're very popular. That's that in our blue ribbon bar. Chuck, how are your crabs? They're right. uh, you know, good? with the little powder I've been yeah, using, right, I'd switch okay. from cream and they're, they're going away. Nice. Yeah. Uh, crab cakes, what else? Um, we got buffalo wings and jerk wings. Um, those are real popular. The, the jerk sauce that we put on these wings are, are incredible, so I definitely recommend those. Uh, do you then, are you able to sneak out and eat other foods? I try. I have, I have a lot of friends that come and visit me out here, and uh, <laughs> if I'm lucky, they'll run and grab some stuff for me. I can't get away all that much, but uh, there's, there's certainly foods out here that I try to get on a regular basis. Is there ever an after-hour party with you folks? Um, no. By the end of the day, we're so tired. <laughs> yeah, we just We just can't. Maybe I'll mix myself a cocktail afterwards and, and uh, you know, go to bed. All right. So what is it you want people to know? We got some uh, more uh, food folks yeah. showing up. What, yeah. what do people need to know about Cafe Carib? We'll be talking about you all morning, but... Is it Carib or Caribe? Carib. Oh, see? Get on, Rusty. I, listen to Andrew. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's Carib. Yeah. The guy that can't get, the, get my name right gets the company name right. Uh, Adam, what's your message? What do you want people to know? You're a great location. Yeah, thank you. No, I, I Try the root beer. What's it called? Not Your Father's Root Beer. Not we Your sell, Father's Root Beer. We sell it by itself and as a float. Have your ID ready. Exactly. Um, I would say as a message, though, we have a, we have probably one of the, 
the most fun hopping spots out here. We have live music all day long. Right. And it's just a, it's a good scene, good atmosphere, and it's a good time. All right, Adam. Thanks yeah. for uh, yeah. setting us up here this morning. You got it. Thank yeah. you. All right. We'll be checking in throughout the uh, day here with uh, Adam from uh, Cafe Carib. Cool, dude. Sounds great. Thanks, All right. Guys. Thanks so much, So, man. yeah, the sun is peeking out. We've got uh, – we're overlooking the uh, DNR Tower. Have yeah. you ever gone up there? Uh, no, but I – Were you in shape? Are you still in shape? What's your deal? Yeah, well, look at me. I'm not in shape. Will you be yeah. winded if you go to the top of the... Oh, uh, God, no. You're, Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Shape, huh? yeah. Look at this. Look, we have a vendor dropping off delicious Put on food your uh, headsets Wrapped there. in foil. The and food, not the vendor. You're going to have to eat that <laughs> microphone. Yeah. Uh, my name is Katrine. Katrine. Now, okay. your booth, I should say, is right across to, to get us located. Not too far from the DNR location, just down from Cafe Carib, uh, right across from the turkey folks, and it has a huge sign that boasts best food from last year? Yes, sir. Wow. All right. That's, That's impressive. a lot to live up to. That I mean, like, you were bestowed that award? We won the People's Choice Award. Nice. Who are best these people? The PCA? You won the PCA. <laughs> no yes. kidding. Yes. Nice. <laughs> a much coveted right, PCA. So is this the item that this won? This is. This is uh, the what? deep fried breakfast on a stick. Oh, come oh, on. On a stick. Nice. It's come very on. nice. I brought some for you guys to try. Oh, look at that. Chuck, yeah. Chuck by the way, we're on the way here, and he's like, oh, I haven't eaten breakfast. I go, are you, <laughs> are you shitting me? I don't know how the fair works. <laughs> this is all new to me. I'm we're heading to the Saint fair. Paul, so I don't even There'll know. There'll be food at the fair, Chuck. No kidding. <laughs> are there people, well, too? Can we, let's stop at SA. I want to get something to eat. I'm like, dude, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the fair. You know, I could All have right. had a breakfast so descri- sandwich or this. Describe this, then. What it do we got here? It is a sandwich made with pancakes, American and Swiss cheese, sausage, eggs, oh, ham. Oh, sausage in there. Mm. And, um, and then it is battered and fried and served with powdered sugar and maple syrup. Oh, for the love of God, this is heaven on a stick. Oh. I got, we got a lot of compliments, a lot of uh, repeat customers last yes. year. Yes, oh my. People kept coming back to the window and high-fiving me. Who thought of this? High-fiving you. <laughs> Seriously, literally. <laughs> That's awesome. I can see why you won the PCA. All right, so who yeah. thought of this? Uh, I did. Um, we we uh, This is our third year here, and the okay. first year when we were here, I we sell a, a Monte Cristo, which is like a triple-decker sandwich, which is battered and fried. And it's kind of sweet and salty as well. Yeah. And so I thought, what else could we batter and fry and put on a stick? And I thought, everybody likes breakfast. And we serve it all day long. I was going to say, does it peak out, though, I mean, uh, in the morning? Uh, last year, we had lines across the street till yeah. 1 or 2 o'clock. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. And then we were just, you know, very steady after that all day. And then uh, other food items that you that are popular there? It's the- uh, we have a pressed Cuban sandwich, uh-huh. which is very nice. Um, hey, Jackie. Jackie, can you give me a napkin? I'm going to set that down. No. Just, uh, sorry, they're delicious, but I'm sorry. all over my hands. <laughs> they're too messy. We can't vote yes to this. So no. go on. You're called the Sandwich Stop. The Sandwich Stop, stop yes. Sandwich Stop. And okay. uh, so we have the deep fried Monte Cristo, deep fried breakfast on a stick, oh. pressed Cuban. We have a curry turkey bacon melt. And then we sell uh, grilled cheese, grilled ham and cheese, grilled cheese ranch and bacon sandwiches as well. And you again, you said you've been doing that how long now? This is our third year. So, how, how, what, how did you get into it? Why did you want to do this? Uh, well, and look, and look at you, third year, and then you win the best food items in <laughs> right, short order. Right, right. Um, well, I've I've done concessions for a long time, and um, I had to change my menu to be able to get into this fair because I sold the usual stuff: hot dogs, sausages, corn dogs, yeah. all of that. So, and where was that going on? Uh, we we had. Um, a, a route in Michigan that we did that with. Oh, okay. And then, are bring, you not a Minnesotan? I'm not. Oh, no. get out of here! We've been coming here for many years, though. We have uh, rides mm. on the Midway as well. I'm going to tell Donald Trump he's going to round you up, and you will be deported. Wait, wait <laughs> which rides do you have on the Midway? Uh, we have the Alpine Bobs and the Beetle Bobs, and then um, my mother and father-in-law have the Big Bamboo Fun House. Oh, wow! So this is like a family business, and yes, it's sir. been going on. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, very how did cool. this? How did this happen? Who's the one who got the ball rolling? Going, I know, we're going to be in the fair industry. Uh, my my husband's grandfather started his carnival many years ago. Gotcha. Um, he he uh, he was a farmer and road commissioner, and a dealership, uh, a vehicle right. dealership, asked him to bring a uh, pony ride in. So he built the ring, and then he was allowed to charge a nickel. Um, <laughs> 
at this sale that they were having, and he figured uh, that was better money than farming, so he bought himself a merry-go-round and a Ferris wheel, and that's yeah, how I it hear all him. began. Is, is that him? Can we interview him? That's, <laughs> no, come over, sir, we want to interview you. He's no longer with us. Oh, oh. Well, I, was, I was hearing something else from the past. <laughs> uh, so when people ask you, yeah, what are the, what's the worst thing about this as a business, and what's the best thing, how do you answer it? It's long hours, very, very hard work. Yeah. But that all pays off, you know. When's the off season for you? Winter? Uh, yeah. Yes. So you don't ever get to go up and sit at a cabin on the dock and go fishing? No, our summers are <laughs> eaten alive. Yeah. I got used to that a long time ago. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy winter then. Yes. Or, or do you head south? Well, wait, we're in Michigan, so it's not that enjoyable. Yeah. It's almost as bad as Minnesota, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you haven't heard? No, it's like 70s here in the summer. You should yeah. come. <laughs> I mean, in the winter. <laughs> um, so the best part about it, what's the best part about being in this industry? you got to like people. Yes, it is, it is definitely fun, especially when I have the concession out. I, I love waiting on people and talking to different people, meeting people, people watching. <laughs> yeah. And do you have, how would you describe Minnesota fairgoers compared to others? Well, this is a food fair for sure. I mean, the rides are secondary at this fair. People come with their coupon yeah. books yeah. and oh. they, they have a route. Yeah. I yeah. mean, certain people, not yeah. every customer, obviously. By the way, but. did you see that? I just got hugged by Megan Newquist. Yeah, I saw that. Wow. She, nice. she denied nice. me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Typical. And that was Ken Barlow? Yeah. God, they seem familiar. Yeah. Anyway, I'll Google that. I, I, I know them, don't yeah. I? Yeah. yeah. Um, so is this fair, how does it compare to the other fairs? This is, this is a great fair. Thank you. It okay, really good. is. And the, uh, is it stagger then, the seasons? There's fairs in different parts of the U.S. that you go to? Yes. We um, start our season in San Diego. Okay. Oh, and then oh, we go wow. to uh, the Wisconsin What's State that Fair. one like? What's this? It's got to be laid that's back, actually, dude. It, Yo. Let's go to La Jolla. They're night. a little different out there, definitely. Um, it's actually a county fair, but it's it's almost yeah. as big as this one. Really? It's very big, yes. Wow. You got any weed on a stick? <laughs> 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 it's called Thai. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, you busted that out. And then, and then we went to Wisconsin, and then we're here, yeah. and um, my husband will go to Texas from here. That's right. Texas is after us, isn't it? Yes. So where's and Iowa? Did you go to the Iowa one? That was just before us. We did us. not. That clashed uh, with uh, Wisconsin for us, so uh, we, we can't do both. Where's home? In Michigan. Okay. Uh, Chesaning, still, Michigan. Where, where is it? Wait, where is it? Uh, oh, nothing. down down south, way from the UP, you know. <laughs> Do, now, do you uh, get excited about any of the uh, shows at the Grandstead? Do you ever get time off to go to the shows? I, I don't myself. Um, last year, I got uh, tickets for my uh, daughter. She saw uh, Fall Out Boy and Paramore. Oh, oh you can't she, avoid she was that. Geek, two of her yeah. favorite bands, yeah. for sure. Def Leppard tonight. Oh, they're tonight? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, now won. you want to go, right? My The one girl working with me is... She's all about the 80s. She's so mad. I'm like, no, you can't go. <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible boss you are. Do you hire? you got to hire Minnesotans then. Um, actually, I bring people that have worked for me in the past uh, in Michigan. Really? If they can get time off of their job or they're currently unemployed. Or, currently you know, I, unemployed. I, I prefer to work with people that I know. You know, oh, they, you they, bring in your own band. Yeah. And then where do you stay when this goes on? Are you in the campgrounds here? Or? Yes, I have a, a, a trailer, and then I have a um, bunkhouse for the employees. Cool. And obviously, financially, it's got to be worth it. Oh, for sure, yes. yes. Last year was huge for us. Oh, good. Good. We'd like to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, again, it is the sandwich stop. I'd say I need two more of those, but I ate that entire one. I don't think I'll eat yeah. again all day. <laughs> I'm, I'm just myself. kidding. I'm going to go throw up and make room. There's the more food out here. <laughs> you are sick. I'm sorry you had I'm to meet practical. Chuck. But it was practical. A, it was a pleasure meeting yeah. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And tell us your name one more time. Katrine. Katrine. Yes. All right. Good luck. Have fun. It's day one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We should talk to you at the last day and see how you're doing. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> Thanks, Katrine. Thank you. Congratulations. Go get them this year on the best food item. Thank do you. you. Do you have another one in contention? I don't have a new food item oh, this okay. year. I don't really have room. Are you allowed to repeat? Could this win again? I think so. I All believe right. it's just it doesn't have to be a new food. Usually uh, a new food wins because everybody yeah, hears about it, right. they advertise about it ahead of time and exactly. and they're geeked to try it. So All right. Yeah. Well good luck. Okay. Thank have you. Fun. Thank you so much. Delicious. That was delicious, wasn't it? 
all every square inch of it was delicious. <laughs> I saved the syrup to drink later. Yeah. Is that that must be real maple? That's real maple. That's that's. I would guess so. Oh, yeah. I mean, none of this corn syrup crap. That's good stuff. So here we are, Twin Cities Hit Show. We are live at the State tickle. Fair and uh, hanging out in front of Cafe Carib. Shall I uh, switch microphones and see if I can run people? Yeah. Down? Why don't you go remote? We're, we call in the business. We call this going remote. You go remote. All right. Hold on. I'm gonna fire up the uh, the microphone. Well, what, she was just using it. No, oh, I, I, I turned it off because of ambient you. noise. <laughs> I, I know how to work a soundboard. What? I have a master's degree. You're not the real Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Patrick. He knows how to do it. Patrick. <laughs> oh, it's oh, he's here. still sleeping. <laughs> yeah, uh, inside joke. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so not for I'm long because <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking about it. <laughs> here we go. We're going remote. We're going remote. Ladies and gentlemen, Rusty your, Gateby. Are you drinking your entire uh, root beer? Oh, God, yeah. You can have the rest of them. No, I, I don't want to get Although that. Although you're, you're driving. How are you yeah. going to do this? Uh, dangerously. Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn up. Is this my? Seriously. There the, we go. All I'm right. telling you, Rusty, the root beer, there's barely any alcohol in it at all. You know, I, I day really one, good. obviously, is uh, always pretty crowded, and we seem to have a pretty decent crowd here. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you one second? One second. So we got a gentleman here. Uh, first time to the fair? No. No. You don't, you don't look like you're a first. This is not your first rodeo. First time this year. How often do you go? About five times a year. Why? What do you like about this thing? Food. What's your favorite? I don't know. I have a favorite. Wild rice burgers. Cafe crib. Nice beard, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> How long have you had that beard? <laughs> I just took this much off, five inches off. You were going ZZ Top with the thing. Yep. Duck Dynasty with it. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's your name? Where are you from? Kevin, from Fridley. Fridley, and you got your wife and son here? Yeah, Patty and Dakota. First day, day one, what's the routine? Where do you got to go? What's the must do? What's the bucket list today? Bucket list is the grandstand and the food building. Are you going to Def Leppard tonight? No. Are you just going inside the where they have all the stuff? Yep, I was going to check things out. What's the budget? How much are you going to spend today? I have no budget. Hey, Rusty, uh, is this just in a fan just approached me? That's a fake beard. Can you pull on that? <laughs> no. Different every year. What's that? Different every year? Every year. Is this a good year? It costs more money every year I come. All right, good luck. Excuse me, ma'am. Come on over here. What are you pulling here? What's your name? Jean from Rosemont. I'm Rusty. Hi. I thought you were Rusty. I'm glad to meet you. And what do you got? What are you pulling here? This is a cart that I picked up last year up at um, Northern Hydraulics. It's got a chair because I get tired and I can sit down. Oh, and this is just, you're not, this isn't for business. This is for you just getting around. I want getting that chair. and then all the goodies you get. Yeah. So what's on your bucket list? Oh, look, we're getting a picture taken. Smile. What's on your bucket list today? Hi. Um, cookies and breakfast. Of course. How many cookies do you do? Oh, I have. Do you do uh, the, the, the little t the paper cup or the bucket? The little paper cup. Yeah. They were so you got a bucket there anyway. I was going to say, if you get a bucket, I'll help you out. Okay, I'll stop back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? Rosemont. Rosemont. Okay, enjoy the fair. Hi. Hi. Rusty's got a whole fan club here. In fact, if someone here wants to yes, talk to you. Yes, come on over here. All right, so we've known each other, it seems like. We've been Facebook friends forever. Probably a year, maybe. Tell everyone your name. Cammie Lee from Apple Valley. And you're here on day one at the fair. Do you always come the first day? I try to, but I usually come eight to ten times if I can. I love the fair. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with other people? You have to come here. The people watching, the food, the walking, it's awesome. It's I was going to say, what is on your bucket list? What do you have to do? I have to get my ornaments for my girls every year. Oh, is this a good spot to do that? Uh, you go up to the Christmas the, building. Yeah, you go up the International Market Square and then the Hobby Lobby. That's where I go. And then I've had the same guy since they were little. Oh, that's, that's nice. In 2016. Do they get their name on it and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you see just across the street? We hope to get them. That you can personalize your cell phone accessories. Oh, I saw that, and you got the Wi-Fi here. I had to charge my phone because I've been posting so much. Isn't that nice? It is awesome. It is so awesome. So, what's it like to beat me? I was so excited. I'm like, oh my god, one of my dreams come true. You, you would make my morning when you worked at, at on Channel Five, and then when you got your own show, I was like, when one door shuts, another one opens. This is so awesome. Aren't you nice? And then you have your kids in volleyball, and my kids are in volleyball, and just your crazy road trips. I'm like, this. He could have grown up in my neighborhood. Oh, stop! Let's Rusty go on a, this. Let's go on another. Let's you and I go on a road trip. Well, that would be fun. 
good. We'll have to get all the kids together. We'd have a blast. Yeah, it would be a blast. Well, now you can catch me over at WCCO every Friday morning with Jason DeRussia. We love it. We love it. We love it. Well, thanks. Have fun. What's that? Did you get something inside the, the Caribbean here? No, I was charging my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I have to start with Turkey to Golf. They're on their way over. All right, go say hello for us. Oh, awesome. you got to have one. You'll love it. Okay. Of course. That's, a, that's my bucket list, a oh, drumstick. Nice. Start yep. with that and end with that. <laughs> All right, nice to finally officially meet you. Facebook Aww. friends for a long time. Frosty hates this stuff. I feel so bad you have to do this. So it's like, yeah, our turkey guy should be coming up in a minute. You want the rest of my... No, no, I had, my to, I had to put mine away. I would have had the whole Chuck, thing. Chuck, what's your... You, your state fair stories, then. What do, what do you do here? I usually break up with whoever I'm dating nice. um, at the state fair. Yes. And? Um, a lot of gold bond. Thank you. I recommend gold bond for a long day. Did you um, ever have to do any police activity out here? I did. I used to work in Roseville and Falcon Heights, where the fair is located. is right here. I came in here a lot. And? I basically of, ate food and then uh, would drive through a crowd of people to get to a call. I imagine there's some misbehaving that goes on during the wee hours and yeah. the later hours at the fair. Yeah, it was, um, it was a bit of a hit show outside the fairgrounds at night. But, uh, I it, love the hit show. What are, yeah. you, what are you implying? I'm implying, uh, where's Patrick? So, uh, yeah, I'm implying, I'm implying. Hey, Jackie, can you go get our turkey guy? Just yeah. I got to tell you what, the root beer, 5.9% alcohol, Rusty. Yes. That's that's a lower, large amount of alcohol. Hold on a second. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? First of all, hey, Sibilu, I've got a short What's your name? Daryl. Uh, do, do you always come to the fair? I'm actually visiting here from Georgia. Oh. Hi, Daryl. And you said, let's go to the fair? Yeah. I just got off the plane, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> just got off the plane. Uh, Daryl is wearing white jeans. That's Good a, luck with that. Yeah, I know. Today, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to like a state fair before? Yeah, I've been here a couple of times before. Yes. To the Minnesota State Fair? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's your story? Are you from Minnesota? Here. I have family here, and usually this time of the year I come and visit. Okay. So what are you going to do? What's your, th what's your list of things to do? Well, the fair, of course. See family and friends. Yeah. Probably go down to the... Um, Mall of, of America before I leave on Sunday. Of course you got to. But I mean, here at the, this is how you can hear your, this stunning interview. Heard all around the world right now we are. Oh, cool. Is it Daryl? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I mean, here at the fair, what's your destination? What's the first thing you're going to do? It's the first day. You're here. You got the white jeans on. Those are going to be so trashed by noon. But go on. What's your destination right now? Um, probably something deep fried. I'm probably sure. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried the deep fried breakfast sandwich? Definitely. All right. Good luck. All welcome right. up. Welcome back. All right. Thank you, guys. Come visit in the winter. Definitely. Listen to yourself <laughs> later. You can hear All this right. episode. Be online. There's typically, you typically have a certain fashion yeah. here at the fair. And that is near the end. Near the end. Can you go yeah. run to Tiny Tim then across the street? You've got, you got Jackie, our runner, doing our bidding, which is nice. She's, uh, could, could you grab a masseuse? That'd be great. Got a lady walking with a knee brace on. That's got to be a long day. That's brave. That's brave. You know what? I Hi, what's your name? Megan. Where are you guys from? St. Paul. Why are you here on the first day? Because we are off this week. Yeah, school's starting soon for her. Yeah. Are you in high school? No. <laughs> Why do you go with a uh, ninth grader? Tell them what grade. Second grade. Second grade. How did it go last year, the first one? Um, good. Good. So you said, I'll try it again. Keep going. What's your name? Norell. Do you like the State Fair? Mm-hmm. Those are fantastic glasses, by the way. What's the budget for a family at the State Fair? Uh, too much. <laughs> Ballpark. What do you think you're going to, what's the damage today? Um, hopefully under $125. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> so that's like two drinks and a hot dog. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Where are you guys from? St. Paul. St. Paul. All right. <laughs> nice. I mean, would, tell me your name and the family's name. Uh, uh, so this is uh, Norell. Norell is second grader. Henley's the four-year-old. She's got the nice ride. She's in the, the jogging stroller. That's right. That's right. It's Megan. Megan. And you guys took the day off work? Yes. Hey, Rusty. Yeah. So, ask right, ask them where they're from. I already did. Twice. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Enjoy the fair. 
Where are you from, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> where are you from? St. Paul. Oh, good. Hey, where are you from? St. Paul. <laughs> There's so <laughs> It's like I was told the band was supposed to start at ten thirty. They've already started. Yeah. It doesn't sound reggae. It's no, that's like, those. That's not reggae. Those are the Beatles. That's like yeah. Zomfear that, Pan Flute. It's let, let it be by Pan Flute. <laughs> it's very, which is how the song was originally written. Interesting. Have you t- are you a thrill seeker guy? Have you done yeah. those uh, rides then uh, here at the fair? I don't do a lot at the fair, um, only because I'm cheap and they're expensive. But yeah, I love these kind of things. What, so you don't do the rides? I don't do the rides much at the fair. It's it's and it's you know, the lines and blah. I'm mostly here for the food. Yeah, seeing old friends because as you have seen over and over, you run into people you know over and over. Do you uh, do you check out the animals? Yeah, oh for <laughs> sure I do. Yeah. yeah, a couple old a couple a couple old sheep I've dated. Um, really? In the barn. Yeah. How uh, about you, do, you go to the, do you go to the biggest pig? Yeah, I do. You have to see that. <laughs> the grossest thing. Yeah, it is. It is. Every year it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So yeah, we got the uh, turkey legs coming in about fifteen and working on Tiny Tim. Uh, <laughs> this is just sounds like me sleeping. I'm getting the breakfast sandwich <laughs> right now. Yeah. That sandwich was unbelievable. And I've uh, you've done this much longer than I have. I don't yes. know if the obligation is to eat all the food. For me it is because I can't say no. Right. I've eaten every drop and every morsel of everything I've been given so far. I also <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh that. boy, that is not normal. Oh, you need a CPAP oh, and maybe a oh my lord, a good gastroenterologist. What about the uh, phone uh, people? Oh, here yeah, we go. Yeah. We got the uh, donuts coming in oh, right look now. At that. Hold on. Tiny I'm going to trade off with you. Can you hold yeah. on to yeah. this? And then I'm going to give you. I'm gonna give you these. Yeah, you put those on. You look lovely. You look lovely. Sit there. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Brought oh, look one at that. for me. Bags of donuts. Oh, you know, I'll try that. Chuck. So we have, uh, tell us your name again. My name is Gretchen. And you are with Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim Donuts. Who's next to you? Bailey. 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 Yes. It's just part of the family? Uh, no. She just no. knows her stuff. She just knows my stuff. Now, how does it work with Tiny Tim Donuts? Because we see many locations. Do you own all of those? Oh, no, 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 no. Tiny Tim is just own, it just has the one location. Oh, so, what are the other yeah. many? So there's various names. There are various yeah. names. Oh. Yeah. But, but Tiny What's Tim the, the best, best one? Yeah. The best is Tiny Tim. Yeah. And oh, Tiny sure. Tim has been out here for very many years. So. Is Tim really tiny? It, he is. I've always wondered that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how, it makes the donuts come out of the machine. This is great. I don't know a ton about the fair because I, I have a mission, and, and you're part of my mission. I started at the turkey booth around the corner. Yeah. Tiny yeah. Tim is on that. So. Yeah. I feel like I'm brushing with fame right now. We are bottom of the Grand Sand Ramp on yeah. Carousel Park. Nice. So These are so addictive. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. I just they can't are. stop. Would they you like are. one? So what's what's <laughs> what is your story then? How long have you had Tiny Tim? I do not own Tiny Tim. You you run I, the joint. Well, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> just sometimes. So it, here we are, opening day, day one. What is it like leading up to day one? What were the concerns? How do you get Tiny Tim ready for game time? The owners actually um, go out and they work all summer at yeah. other carnivals oh. and fairs. So, oh, I see. So they yeah, are, like some, I yeah. think it sounds like yeah. a lot of families do that. Many concessions do. Yep. Is what about uh, weather? Cooler temps, you sell more. For donuts, definitely. Yeah. Definitely are. So today we're kind of almost in the sweet zone. Yeah. Yeah. Although it's good. It's good. It's a great day for the fair. I mean, we don't. You know, any any fair doesn't like it when it gets real hot. I was going to say. People just don't like how, to eat. They don't like to drink. So, How does the Minnesota State Fair rate to other venues in terms of income or how the business does? You guys have to just rock it here, I bet. You know, truthfully, I don't know a lot of the numbers for Could them. You, you, what's uh, the spread chart you have in front of you? I'm looking at the numbers here. It looks like you're up in the third quarter. <laughs> Do you know the calories? You know, oh. I don't. Good. They, Thank you. I don't. Thank you. Thank you. La, 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 you know, la, 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 <laughs> You know, I don't want to know. Are you sure you don't want to know? You know, calories delicious. don't count at the fair, in my opinion. So, does yeah. Bailey eat a lot of the tiny yep. Tim donuts? She won't touch them. I keep offering them. She's like, I don't want to eat that crap. <laughs> I, I, oh no! <laughs> you had your fill. I don't. I don't blame you. A little bit of a line, not bad. Um, we always like a line. A line is yeah, good. yeah. You know, How long does it take to to make a bag? Is that a quick so turnaround? It is a quick turnaround. For our for our process, it's a little conveyor belt system. So gotcha. from the time that it stops or drops out of out of what we call the hopper, yeah, to the time that it get, gets bagged is roughly a minute. Because so they come out hot, hot nice they and hot. And hot. Yeah, they cook at four hundred. So and they, <clears throat> you know, when you guys are eating them, it's 
moments. Now, I've never tried these before, but I'm, you know, they kind of remind me of like a donut. Yeah. Chuck. That's amazing. Chuck. Yeah. It's That's incredible. Amazing. And did the prices go up this year? Not this year for us. Okay, no, good. They are the same as last year. All right. So it's a five dollars bag, or we got a fair special. So Three if you want time. the real Tiny Tim donut, yes, right near the uh, bottom of the grandstand ramp. Bottom uh, of the grandstand ramp on Carousel Park. And for us, right across from Cafe Carib. C, who's been so nice to host us today. Well, thanks for bringing yeah. the bag over. See, that was painless. Yes, you. Yeah, you did Thank great. You. And good luck. You- I can't tell how much of the band, the pan flute band, is coming into the microphone. Yeah, it's uh, it's random. Yeah, it's uh, I really like Let It Be. Uh, oh, you missed the the people watching here is great. Right. You missed a great sight. Tell you what, we're gonna take a break and uh, we're gonna have some turkey drumsticks when we get back. We'll do some more people watching. All right. The Twin Cities Hit Show, live from the State Fair and Cafe Caribe. The Twin Cities Hit Show. We'll be right back. Third Street Brew House, built on a perfect site in Cold Spring, Minnesota. Combining the -the state-of-the-art brewing facility with exceptional water. Hello, did we mention Cold Spring, Minnesota? They have a dream team of world-class brewers, resulting in unprecedented crafted beers. The core styles of Bitter Black IPA, Lost Trout Brown Ale, and Rise to the Top Cream Ale are intriguing yet satisfying. And look forward to seasonal and specialty beers. Nothing fancy, no fuss. It's all about the beer at Third Street Brew House. Mac Men. Don't let your computer problems drive you mad. We are Mac Men, Minnesota's premier tech consultants and problem solvers for. Macs, mobile devices, troubleshooting, training, and much more. No more dragging your computer all over town because we come to you. We love making house calls to your home or small business. Mac Men. Call 612-345-8005. The one and only Chart House. Your destination, whether dining for two drinks with friends or making up for that night with friends join us at the chart house for brunch dinner or drinks hi i'm josh ripper and i'd like to invite you to my restaurant and i'll buy half your dinner go to charthouserestaurant.com to find out more visit charthouserestaurant.com today for your special offer and then come visit chart house in person your table is waiting Let's face it, summer is short here in Minnesota, and we want to fill it up with concerts, ball games, and good times. Well, for a great night, beep, 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 yeah. log on to Blue and White, blueandwhitetaxi.com. Hey there, everybody. I'm Rusty Gatenby, your TV buddy, and I'm always up for a good time, but I've learned planning is part of the party. Do the pregame, do the pre-concert, and do the pre-plan. Pre-plan your ride, that is. Log on to blueandwhitetaxi.com. With the biggest fleet of taxis in town, you can enjoy every last drop of summer and get home safely and on time. No worries about money and tips. You set it all up before the fun with blueandwhitetaxi.com. Yeah, make it a great night. Log on to the blue and white, blueandwhitetaxi.com. No shirt, no shoes? Well, (laughs) that's your problem. You're listening to the Twin Cities Hit Show. Say it fast three times. We just dare you. Look right behind you, Chuck. Turn around. Oh, I saw those earlier. It's uh, Sheba. They're Sheba. what? I don't know. It's like Sheba Amazon Warrior. Those can't. Uh, 
she's walking away. Anyway, hey, we're live out here at the State Fair doing some massive people watching. I have some imagery for you. At Chuck, the end is of the that day, a mullet? Is that a mullet? Yes. At it's the end of the day. Camouflage hat. Yep. Wolf I t-shirt. So. Yep. Rocking a mullet. Yeah. I think he's ready to shiv you, shank you. <laughs> no, that lady, when she takes those boots off at the end of the day, with those those Amazon boot marks all across her shins and ankles. That choice. does not seem like should be the first choice of footwear to walk no. around. First? Fair. I think we're going any choice of footwear. Yeah, the people, this is actually why I come here, and I always have contests for, well, they're, kind of, they're a little bit cruel, but like the, the weirdest looking person or the tallest person or whatever. I always win the snow cone. I'm going to uh, switch microphones again and get into the uh, yeah you should to the action should. and then if yeah. you, if you see someone point yeah, them right out that guy right there he wants to, oh he's lost <coughs> whoa yeah. yeah that guy that's who that's who you need to talk to <laughs> yes sir that's what I feel like after all the food we've been on. ah I, I feel your pain sir yeah who, who are you voting for uh. who are you voting for this year in the election uh, <laughs> next year in the election who are you voting for. Nothing. No, he's not voting for it. I believe that's Trump. That's that's pig for that's cow for Trump. You know Trump. what that is? That's utterly ridiculous. <laughs> because the cows have butters. No. Uh, oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> there, this one appears to be a rabbit. Hello. <laughs> What's up, Doc? Yeah, nothing. Someone take away the sound effects oh, from our producer. I've just been horsing around. <laughs> not here at the state fair. Uh-oh, Jackie's bringing over somebody. Uh-oh, someone else. Turn our mic on. We are live. And, uh... Oh, yes, okay. I didn't hear who, who we're talking to. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Stephanie with the Blue Moon. The Blue Moon. Describe blue. the Blue Moon. The Blue Moon is a really cool retro drive-in theater. Oh, cool. I've done live shots with you guys you over have. the years. I've, I've woken you up early in the morning. Yes, yes, you um, have. And you guys have been around how many years now? Well, we've been the Blue Moon for eight years, but this is our 35th year at the fair. We were Ben and Jerry's ice cream wow. prior to that. So. Wow. Do you want to finish my rip? There's a, there's a b- bee yeah, swimming in my rip beer. Is that a hard rip beer float? Yes. <laughs> Yummy. Have you heard you about him? I'll have a sip. There's a bee in there. That's okay. Oh, Look at oh, her. I love her. I'm a gr- I'm She's brave. Oh, my goodness. It's well, good, right? That gonna, is good. I'm going to toss it. We've had enough. No, here. I've had enough. I'll toss um, it. I've had four. <laughs> is, do, do you guys have new items of food every year? But we do. Oh, That's you do. That's kind of uh, who we've become. We oh. do. Mike does a great job. We create something new every year, and we're really, really proud of most everything. Some things end up in the graveyard. <laughs> <to> you. <laughs> we're proud of most things. It's just like me at this hit show. Yeah. 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 Chuck, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Yeah, okay. You like our T-shirts? <laughs> yeah. We're wearing um, matching T-shirts. What is the new <laughs> item nice. this year? Uh, our new item this year is called a chilled bread pudding. Can you oh. bring some over? CBP. I can bring some over. Chilled the CBP is so supposed to be a hit. Yeah, yeah. that's right. right Chilled on. bread pudding. So, yeah, it's good. So, traditionally, bread pudding is served really hot. Yeah. And uh-huh. when we were doing our testing, um, it was really surprising to me. Everybody has a real emotional kind of memory of bread pudding. Yeah. And they're yeah. very tied. Real, You know, my grandma made the best bread pudding, and we had it at Christmas, and... And so forth. So we kind of we didn't deconstruct it, but we're serving it opposite. So it's traditionally served hot. We're serving it ice cold, Sunday style, hot topping, whipped cream. Nice. So it's real good. So how did this idea come about? Um, uh, we presented a bunch of ideas that all got bounced by the fair. So uh, really, they have bump. rules. They oh, have, they have really strict rules. Yes. They're like judges on Americans yep. Got Talent, and they act. That's for sure. That's for sure. Live lamb on what, a stick. What food, food item would they nix and why? Um, it just depends. I mean, if they don't think it'll do well, I mean, it may be a great food, but it just won't do well in this setting. If there's other foods that are really similar to that, they try but to protect. should they let you guys take the risk? Well, who, who, they really like to make decisions here, don't they? They do make decisions <laughs> here for you. But it's, Ooh, you know, editorial, <laughs> aren't we, Mr. <laughs> Gaten me? It's, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, what do you do when you're not doing the fair? I sell insurance. For who? Farmers Insurance. And so people should get a hold of you if they need their insurance needs. That's right. (laughs) Stephanie Simon. (laughs) And what what part of town? I'm in Eden Prairie. Eden Prairie. And you'll do uh, home, car, life? Everything. Nice. All right. Okay. And then stop into the Blue Moon. You can stop into the Blue Moon and get a great, fabulous chocolate malt, which is what I would like to do. 
and then get your insurance needs. Some over and CBP. <laughs> try the CBP. Yeah. All right. We want to try. We want to try some of your new food. Yeah. Here we go. Day one of the fair. Awesome. Are you ready? We are ready. Our <laughs> line. We have about forty people in line, so I should hit it. All right. All right thank you so much. Thanks a lot, you guys. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's a fun place to go if it's like a if it's a hot day because they have a whole indoor seating area with. Uh, Look at this. My favorite people. Oh, look. By the, you are my favorite people. Put that headset on Turkey. and make sure that Turkey microphone. Turkey has arrived. Uh, literally. Uh, anyway, you, go, come to the the fair for you this. go to the Blue Moon Diner, oh. and you can go inside. Oh, is that her sunglasses? Or is it Jackie's? Jackie? Yeah. Uh, and chill. And they have, like, retro movies like Abbott and Costello and stuff. We have the turkey ladies. Oh, and Chuck's posing with these pretty ladies. Chuck, you're such a dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a turkey. Call me. I'm single, and I like turkey. All right. So we got a couple of items here. What uh, what do we have here? I right. I wanted the drumstick. The microphone right up to your mouth there, dear. There okay, yep, right here we have the slow roasted turkey drumstick. Oh, okay, and we also I'm have I'm our new tasty turkey sunrise <laughs> breakfast sandwich. Is that it? You said it's new. It's new this year, yes. Okay, so what's in it, Chuck? You want to try the breakfast yeah. sandwich? Yeah. Why don't you check it? This one's on a croissant. We also serve it on our original bun as well. But you can upgrade to a croissant, and it has hey. egg, American cheese, our turkey to go. I must say, turkey. nice buns. And tur- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> and turkey bacon. Whoa. Turkey bacon, just yes. because, you know, you don't want to have too many calories. Yeah. Well, right. Yeah, you guys say that in calories. They're literally, I come into the oh, fair, this is the only this. place I have to go every single look year. Look at is this drumstick. Yeah, I know. I've been told that. <laughs> That's not true. I've never been told mm. that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, first bite. It's good radio. Mm. Um, does weather matter how much you sell? Cooler weather better than warmer? You know, actually, yes, it does. Usually cooler weather serves more turkey sandwiches for us. Yep. Yeah, I yeah, suppose. Hotter people, that, you know, when, when it's hot weather, they gravitate towards something cooler, like, you know, I suppose ice cream or beverages. or. Um, we're a fact-based show. I'm going to need some proof. Do you bring any <laughs> graphs with you? Anything. Now, fact. how did you get involved? Is this a seasonal gig for you? Or are you? You know what? I work for the Minnesota Turkey Growers Association, and the Turkey Growers Association owns the Turkey Deal restaurant here ah. at the fair. So we've been uh, here for 56 years. Uh-oh. Well, I thought you said Turkey Uh-oh. Brewers. Turkey so, Deer. See, now, when you said Turkey Growers Association, I just my hard news journalism hat went on. Uh-oh. Are we doing all right this year? Wasn't there issue? There was, yes. Uh, even influenza infected the Minnesota turkey industry this year. Oh. Yeah, um, like it was a huge deal. It was a very huge deal. Yeah, it was and very devastating. It, are we on the upward swing now? Uh, yes, there has have not been any infected farms since uh, June 5th. Okay. And we are well uh, on the way to repopulating good majority of our farms right now so and you have plenty of product for the fair we do have plenty of product for the fair and we will for thanksgiving ah, so, yes that's right yes. So i'm gonna ask you the hard question do you blame obama for the turkey influenza <laughs> oh, i plead the fifth yes <laughs> <laughs> we're going criminal on this one she pleaded so, the fifth amendment <laughs> you will be at this location all run of the fair then we will yep we're what do you right- like about the fair i love the people at the fair that's my favorite part yeah, I, I know love right watching all the people yeah <laughs> Great variety, right? Yeah, idiots like us. Yeah, <laughs> you can only go up from here. Oh come on, it's gonna it's be all, great. It's all good fun. All you're, right, if you're out here though, seriously, you're out here every day. Try the turkey breakfast sandwich; they're delicious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you yeah. thought you were talking yeah. to her? Yeah, you're I talking am. to our I'm listeners. Telling her she should try it. <laughs> I, I did delicious. try it. Actually. Oh, you did? I oh, did. what a weird coincidence well, that you're yes. here. Yeah, I had a I had a, a not your father's root beer with five per nine percent alcohol. Yeah, so. no one can tell you're hammered, right? No, now. <laughs> God, no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, are there other food buildings that you have to do? Do you have a state fair bucket list? I mean, yes, turkey, yes, awesome. But is there another cheat or? You know what? I really don't. Uh, after, Who do we have? Who's next to you, by the way? This is Erica Nelson. She's our Ag Program Specialist with the oh. Minnesota Turkey oh, Growers God, Association. Okay. So what is that? What duties does that? What does that mean to be an Ag? program specialist um with that i do a lot of promotion and outreach for turkey farmers i actually grew up on a turkey farm um, i'm sixth generation on my oh, family wow. farm and um so i really i just talk about what i grew up with what i know um promote. are there a lot of turkey jokes you get when you're growing up i you know actually um i was not allowed to say chicken <laughs> on our farm that was a swear word it still ah, is. I love um, that. so yeah you know my my grandma she's 84 years old um, she grew up promoting the industry her entire life, um, you know, as, wow. as well. So she, there were some jokes that she definitely told. But so um, she must have seen the industry just grow incredibly. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. And my grandfather is 84. He still farms full time every day with my dad and my uncle. Oh my god. Um, so oh. and you know, our family was not affected by avian influenza. Um, so we were the Good f- you know fortunate ones. Yeah, no kidding. What part of the uh, state was this? 
Um, we are close to Alexandria. Okay. Oh, nice. Small town, Kensington. Okay. So. okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Will they yeah. make the trip down? Do they give a rat's ass about the state fair? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Actually, you know, my parents were very, um, my entire family was very involved in 4-H. So I'm almost 30 and I've been down here every year of my life because I grew up showing 4-H. I feel so your pain. Me I too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you well, better 30 years too. <laughs> but, you know, now, I mean, I'm not showing anymore, but I get to be down here, you yeah. know, talking turkey. And so it's Talking great. turkey. Turkey. Talking See, turkey. that's it's the kind great. of stuff I'm it's talking great. about. Yep. All right, well, thank yep. you guys. I'm going to munch you on thank this, but thanks for coming much. down. Thank you. Anything, any message you want to say to the people before they go? Yeah. Eat turkey. Eat turkey. <laughs> More turkey. <laughs> yes. Not a problem on this end, ladies. If Not I stub my toe thank today, you. I'm going to yell, yell <laughs> out, chicken. <laughs> you two have been great. <laughs> All right, so, oh, the pan flute people have stopped. Which is, uh, is there, yeah. Chuck, can you go up and I want a request from the pan flute people. What do you want to request? Do they know Freebird? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm yes. actually going to yes. get on the crowd mic here. We got, uh, we got about 10 more minutes okay. of this lovely show. Let so. me make that live. You're live on the crowd mic with Rusty Gate and me. Freebird! We miss you. Oh, we do. Yes. Oh, my God. Well, now you have me. It's Rusty. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it is. It is well, totally now you can rusty. Get me on WCCO Mid Mornings with Jason DeRussia. Oh, uh oh, we're doing. No problem. <laughs> Tell WCCO you want more of me, all right? Yes. What's your name? We Diane want all. Hall. More and all. <laughs> What's your name? Diane Holly. And who's this? Robert, I just you guys are up to no good, aren't Bob you? Bob Holly's wife. <laughs> we really? Yes. Oh, my God. Hey. What's that? Hey. What's. Uh, ex cop. Oh, so they know each other. So why are you guys here today? What's going to go on? We come here every year at the sa the beginning of the fair, and we just try to have a good time and eat and drink beer to burp it out. Yeah, of course, of course. What's the first thing you're going to do today? We already did, and we were disappointed. We, oh, what we was it? We our glitz and glitter, and there was nothing to buy. Really? Didn't jump out at us. Nothing good? All right, so now where are you off to? Now we're going to see if my one of our friends are around the corner at another beer garden. Perfect. I know. This is the nice part of the fair right here, right? So what have you been up to? Though? Well, we are on the air right now with the Twin Cities Hit Show. It's a digital radio program heard around the world. Do you have friends overseas? No, I don't. I don't believe she does either. Well, they're listening to us in France right now. Très bien. And then I do, then I do stuff with CCO. We, Still around. We, we, have, we got on the computer when you left. and we. Thank you. Well, log into this. You'll hear our show here today. You Thank you so much. Just been live on the Twin Cities Hit Show. Thanks, crazy ladies. All right, so, yes, we've uh, got a couple more minutes left of the uh, Twin Cities Hit Show live from the State Fair right in front of Cafe Carib. Looking at a huge crowd of uh, people on the uh, sidewalk there coming towards us. I'm not sure what the, uh, what the numbers will be today, but I would say as far as... Uh, Hey, Rusty. Yes. Tom State here fair. wants to tell us about his state fair experience. You as far to... as state fairs yeah. go, it looks like it's got a relatively popular grand opening, sunshine coming out. What's your name? Tom. And what do you? what's your story? Well, I'm kind of a fair junkie, so uh, I you? got here about 6.05 today. <laughs> Why do you have to be here so early on the first day? Well, I really like the animal buildings then. I have a lot of friends that show animals around the state, so exactly. Thanks. Which animals? Uh, in the cattle barn and swine barn and goats. Aren't they going to be there tomorrow or Saturday? Yeah, but you really get the feel for it at the first, very beginning. Now, are you going to come every day? No, no. I'll come one more time, though. All right. What do you do when you're not at the fair? <laughs> uh, what truck used to yeah, do. Yeah. <laughs> I thought friend. that I was being set up here. <laughs> <laughs> you're under arrest, gate me. I think I'm the one being set up. Uh, what part of town? Uh, southwest. Okay. All right. Well, if you see any shenanigans, first of all, this guy needs a breathalyzer. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. He said, like, too many uh, hard root beers. They're selling hard root beers here. Uh-oh, there's a photo going on. Photo going on. So, again, yeah, it's a crowded, uh, looks like a nice start to the, uh, we're doing a, a group photo here. Smile. Looks like a nice start to the uh, state fair. Here comes a family of kids. Oh, can I talk to her? Come here. I want to see. Looks like we have a. Uh, an official car cowgirl behind you. I do have a cowgirl of pink boots. She wow. Okay. What's her name? Isley. She dressed herself. Yes. Isley, I like I like the, those boots of yours. Are you a cowgirl? No. Do you have a pony? No. Would you like your mom to get you a pony? Yeah. Mom, 
someday. Maybe ask Grandma. <laughs> so, are you afraid those boots might get uh, dirty today? No. Oh. You, you guys are here on the first day of the fair. There's a whole, how many are with you here? We've got five. Oh, my God. And who did, did give us the names and ages. We've got Emmett is eight, Isley is six, Ender is four, Errol is three, and <laughs> Ephraim is three months. And these are all yours? They are, yep. You're done now, right? Well, I am, but, but my heart is still open to more, but this is good for now, yep. <laughs> uh, so what are you going to do today, then? What's on the list for when you got a whole group like this? On the littlest farm hands and cookies and the big slide. Cor- the big slide, that's, it gets your belly, doesn't it? When you go down, have you been down the big slide before? I don't know. You don't know, it's big. You'll know when you'll see it. Yeah, yes, yes. And what's the budget? I don't, we haven't set a budget. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> right until money's gone. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, that's fantastic. And of course, Grandma's helping out. She is, yes. Couldn't do it without her, so. <laughs> You guys are all going to behave? Yeah. <laughs> are you going to eat a lot of fun food? They're lying. Yeah. They're lying. All right. You're going to do everything Bob says? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Good luck. I not lose anybody. That's really the goal. <laughs> or, uh, Godspeed. Limit it to one. <laughs> lose one max. No more than one. Godspeed. So, yes, a lot of people have to get out here on the first day like that family. Uh... Hey, how are you? Yeah, man, Bill Ann again. Out of here. Come on over, step this way. So you're here for the first day of the State Fair. Why? Uh, just to enjoy it. It's clean, the atmosphere, just to get away from everybody, and it is very clean. That's the first th- that Now it makes sense to me, right, because you come toward the end of it. and It's, it's getting- just kind of wild and messy, and, you know, it just doesn't, the attractions aren't as good. I think the first day is the best day. That's the first smart thing I've heard about, why you should come out here the first day. Where are you from? I'm from Red Wing, Minnesota. This is my wife, Deborah. You like the State Fair as well, obviously. I love it. What's your list? What do you have to do? Drink. <laughs> she drinks and I want to eat. Yeah, what are you going to eat? Uh, you know, I, smell, I, I wanted a sweet roll to begin with because the aroma just blows everywhere. But, you know, there's so many varieties of food. I don't know what to eat now. Well, if you're still in the breakfast mode we just had Do you was, want a bite of my sandwich it was the best sandwich last year and it's really good it's just straight up ahead on the right the sandwich shop the sandwich shop i think i'll i'll take your advice on yeah, you could see it almost yeah. right from here they were with us earlier this morning they were voted best food item last year but it's yeah. this thing on a stick it's fantastic everything's on a stick rusty even your microphones are oh, oh, good point. take a look good point yeah. <laughs> whoa that just got weird i don't know <laughs> cut the commercial oh, cut the God. commercial got... <laughs> yeah. rusty, it was great talking with you you know i miss you on radio yeah thanks well you're on I, you were on Channel 4 for such a long time. And I was on Channel 5. Now I'm going to 4. I apologize. Ex- totally apologize. Oh, it's great because now I'm doing stuff with 4. So there you go. There you go. You know, it, it all works out. It all works out. I'm just glad everything's going good for you. You look great. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks. <laughs> He's got a weird standard for looking great, Rusty. <laughs> we are now into extra innings here at the Twin Cities Hit Show. Uh, just checking out the uh, folks walking by. Excuse me, sir. What are you, what are you eating there? Pork chop. Yes. Oh. Got to do the pork chop. What do you got there? Pronto pop. How is it? Really good. How many are you going to have today? One. <laughs> Just one? <laughs> All right. We're on a budget. Well. Budget. He'd have more than one. Twin Cities Hit Show in front of Cafe Carib. I want to thank Adam, who I call Andrew. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What are you going to do now? What, uh, what's your first item up for bid here at the State Fair? Look at this guy. Hold on. Come here a second. Come here a second. Come here, come here, come here. Describe what you have in your hands. I've got uh, two Pronto Pups with ketchup um, and a big bag of uh, Tiny Tim Mini Donuts. Is this just for you? Uh, nope, it's for my kids. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> my, I'm getting my cheese curds next. Uh, where you, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Matt from uh, Oak Grove, Minnesota. All right. Enjoy the fair. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Healthy, healthy food for the yeah. kids. Hey, you know what I? You know what? I, yeah, exactly. You know what? I, start them out young. Teach those lessons <laughs> young. I say. I want to get one of those wheeled chairs with the with the seat that we saw. Uh, though, that that. Oh, that lady had her. She I had a want rock. that. This is not her first state fair. <laughs> yeah, she's not feeble bodied. That was just pure laziness, and I love it. That is right up my alley. She had area yeah. for the. Uh, Look at the Best Buy crew. The, the Blue Gives Back crew just walked by. What is the Pan Flute Band playing now? <laughs> 
Uh, uh, it's a. Uh, uh, Godspeed your love. <laughs> Godspeed me. They're playing pan flute. All right. Well, Def Leppard will be on the stage tonight at the grandstand. Yeah, I gotta say we look great in these t-shirts, Rusty. Great advertising. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah. Hi. People watching is great. We're gonna continue with our people watching. Where are you from, sir? St. Louis Park. Why are you here the first day? Uh, my granddaughter wanted to come, so Aww. good granddad. Her first time here, so what are you gonna do? Well, we're gonna go see the fish and have some food and relax and enjoy it. Perfect. There you go. That's how it works. Could you have picked a more prototypical Minnesota? We're going to try the food. <laughs> Thank you for picking him. That's great. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the Rusty Fan Club. Come on over. Have a seat. Here we go. We miss you. Where oh. are you from? Uh, now, just tell me about your fashion choices today. When did you, did you, how did you decide what you were going to wear? What did I, um, something comfortable. And it's got tropical, summery. There you go. Uh, do you, uh, do you always come out the first day? Yes. Why? Why do you come out the first day? The fresh food. <laughs> a fresh food. Where are you from? Cottage Grove. Cottage Grove. I asked you that already. Thank you much. I miss you and Mr. Patrick Hammer. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks. Where are you from? Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Shut up. We tried to ask three times. It's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's wearing an In God We Trust shirt, and your question was, tell me about your fashion choice. <laughs> I think God decided. <laughs> it's she had well. a bright pink yeah. uh, sure. tank top with with palm trees. Yeah, you know what? That, that's tropical. That's good. Uh oh, uh oh. We got a metal T-shirt. We got nice. Come on yeah. over here a second. The metal militia. Uh, Metallica. Come, here. Come on over here. Are you going to uh, Def Leppard tonight? Don't lose no, your daughter. Favorite band? Oh, really? They're playing tonight. No. My husband's so close. Cover band. So. What band? Rock God. And you are you got your metal shirt on. You got some tattoos. You got color in the hair. Who's this? Zoe. Zoe is. Yes. Hate. Is she related to you? That's our kid. Is she related to you? <laughs> That's our kid. Zoe, I like your I like your shirt. Thank you. Is this milk? You're drinking milk? Yes. You, you now you realize if you stayed there you could have kept going. Isn't it all you can drink still? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, what do you like about the state fair? The rides and the food. The rides. What ride are you going on? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just hoping that we. Don't you? Do you get dizzy at all? Whenever I go on a spin ride. Yeah. I want to go on the tea. On the right that has the swings. That's yeah. Who's this? That's my little sister. Is she, is she nice? Sometimes. Sometimes? Mm-hmm. How old is she? Four. You going to look out for her? Yes. What's the budget when you come with kids? There isn't one. I don't think about it. Uh, nope. <laughs> Stay home for two weeks. Yeah, all right. Have fun, you guys. Beautiful family. Thank you. See you guys. Metal Militia. He's wearing the Metal Metal Militia Militia shirt. Hello, sir. Hello. Come here. I want to ask you a question. Come here, sir. Come here. Uh, How old are you? Five. Five. How long have you been five? Uh, Long time? (laughs) Yeah. Just in a week. Who are you going to vote for in the election? What are you going to do at the fair? What do you like? Food. What kind? Lunch fries. Red fries. I think they do have those. Oh, she's taking a picture. Smile. What's your name? Ethan. Ethan, be good. Okay. 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 <laughs> How old have you been five? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Stop her. I think a while. <laughs> I think I've been five for a while. All right. Woo. Hey, our T-shirt showed up. Throw this on. We should uh, maybe give those T-shirts away. Or one of them. I don't know how many we have. I think we have extras, I think. I don't know. Well, that was fun. That was fun. Look at those. That was fun. They come pre-faded. That's awesome. I know. I know. Red 
Carrie Underwood also at the fair. Yep. Also at the grandstand. Is that her playing right now in the background in the pan flute? She's conflicting with the pan flute. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. I'm hungry. Wonder where we get some. Let's go get some food after this. All right. Have we done enough here? We've done enough damage. We cannot thank enough uh, the folks at Cafe Carib. It's been a wonderful morning here live from the State Fair. It's off and running. And uh, I kind of like it. Let's go Let's go yeah. walk around a little bit. Yeah, let's All do right? it. Let's meet some people. All right. Let's get some food. A bite. Thanks, everybody. It's been wonderful. This has been the Twin Cities Hit Show live from the Minnesota State Fair. Our State Fair is a great state fair. Don't miss it. Don't even be late. Boom, boom, boom. It's dollars to donuts that our state fair is the best state fair in our state. Our state fair is a great state fair. Don't miss it. Don't even be late. It's dollars to donuts that our state fair is the best state fair in our state.